This can't kill me, and I'm not doing it. Steve, oh, come on. Yeah, dude. I just hate to tarnish my image as the most fearless maniac ever to live. But the fact is, I have been a little bitch-ass sissy at times. So here we go. Top 10 stunts I backed out of. I'm not doing it. I think there's only one well-known example of me backing out of a stunt, and that would be on Jackass the Movie when I was supposed to put the toy car up my butt, but it would disappoint my dad too much, so I said I couldn't do it. When your parents say, I'm not mad at you, I'm just disappointed, you know? Like, that hurts so much more. Of course, Ryan Dunn did it for me. You don't tell nobody, right? He already knew that too many people. I'm not doing it. Since we're going chronologically, next up is Wild Boys in Costa Rica. They took me to a 200 foot bridge to bungee jump off of it with these wings to see if I could fly. And I was like, it's totally safe, but I'm sh 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 scared. I physically could not bring myself to jump. There was no chance. I'm not doing it. Why not? Yeah, dude. Every day I get in a situation where something can't kill me. This can't kill me, and I'm not doing it. Steve, oh, come on, man. And after I made it clear that I was not jumping, they approached me and said, we've got five Costa Rican dudes who said they can throw you, and they call it the mafia toss. I didn't have to do anything, so I just let them throw me. Three, two, one. doing it. After Wild Boys, we filmed Jackass number two. That was before I got sober, but ironically, I was the biggest pussy on Jackass number two when I was loaded. There are two of them that just kill me to this day. One of which was the homemade hang glider. Took all day to put this thing together with like bamboo and tarps and twine. And it was basically like a parachute. I could have jumped off of anything. And I wimped out so bad, man. I went like kind of running down a hill, was the closest I got to any footage. It was pathetic. It kills me to this day. I want so badly to build another homemade hang glider. Maybe I will. I'm not doing it. Also on Jackass number two in India, they set up this bed of hot coals with a special like balance beam over it. And they gave me a unicycle to try to unicycle across the balance beam. But I could not even bring myself to commit both feet to the pedals. I wimped out just so bad. That one kills me the most. I'm not doing it. This next one is weird, and you might not believe it, but it's totally true. The VH1 network had these dating shows called Rock of Love, Flavor of Love, and believe it or not, they reached out to me about doing the same format. Could have been wildly entertaining. What would chicks do for a chance at love with Steve-O? But I literally didn't even come close to agreeing to it. I said, there's no way I'm letting 30 chicks tell the entire world how fast I come. And that was literally my motivation. I was like, dude, I can't. Because that's what you do on those shows, is hook up with all the chicks. They would be in the little room like, <coughs> like, laugh, dude, no, no. I will be the one to tell people how fast I come. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Dude, I can't believe I forgot one. Back when Jackass was just a TV show, with no eyebrows, not a hair on my body, they took me to the YMCA Olympic pool to do a flip off the top diving platform on stilts. And I bitched out. I just did a straight jump. Knoxville called me out on it too. What happened? I thought you were going to do a flip. Fortunately, I went back and pulled it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. When we were shooting Jackass 3D, we went up to Northern California to film a bunch of snow stunts. And they had a big bounce house 
on a ski slope headed for this like Olympic ski jump. And the idea was to have the whole cast in it. Even though we hated the idea of our heads clashing together in the bounce house, we probably still would have done it, except for the fact that it was a huge generator which kept the bounce house inflated, which would have to follow behind it. And the thing was like 500 pounds, I think. And we just were not willing to have that generator land on us and crush us to death. So the whole cast backed out. Maybe the first time the whole cast backed out of a stunt, you know, ever. I'm not doing it. For those of you who watched Jackass 4.5 on Netflix, you'll know that I had an eagle rip my eyebrows off. The whole purpose for that was to tattoo a dick in the place of the eyebrow. And we had Post Malone scheduled to do it. And we had you booked to come and tattoo a fucking dick on my forehead. And at the last minute, Knoxville pipes up and says, there's too much dick stuff in the movie. No more dicks. So you were like scheduled to come tattoo a dick on my forehead for Jackass 4. I'm here. I'm around. You know what I'm <laughs> we got the, we got yeah. the yeah, you go. Dude, I was this close. I'm still going to do it. But thank God I'm not going to do it underneath an eyebrow. I mean, what's the point? The eyebrow grows back and the dick's gone. I'm getting the dick above my eyebrow, but that's another story for a later time. I'm not doing it. And boy, is it ironic that Knox Holt says no more dick stuff when he was pressuring me so hard to put one of my balls in a ring binder, right? Like it clapped and he wanted me to close this ring binder on my nuts so bad. I'm like, Knoxville, there's too much dick stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I don't even know when this idea came up, but it was to heavily duct tape me to a mechanical bull, which is funny to picture, but I reasoned that at a certain point you're supposed to fall off the bull, and if you're attached to it, you're gonna have a spinal cord injury, something which I take very seriously and something which breaks my heart. So the point of this video was that this guy reached out to me. He's a paralyzed guy in a wheelchair. He said, I bought your autographed skateboard from stevo.com to like raffle it off, to audition it, to raise money, to help people in wheelchairs. And I was like, dude, let me help you help people. I told him I'd build him a website, which we did, developmentalassist.org. I told him I'd make a video to help raise money for it. So if you want to help support developmental disability independence, then by all means, please go to developmentalassist.org. This guy's a sweetheart and uh, help him out. Yeah, dude, that's it, that's it.